<laughs> What's good everybody, it's your boy Tuminator, welcome to Tuminator Extra. In today's video I'm going to be checking out Cyanide and Happiness Compilation number 3. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. Seagull. Oh! <laughs> Do what? Oh my god. Yep. Not at all what I thought was gonna happen. <sighs> Went completely left on that. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> we need a medic! Oh, I'm hit. No, 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 no! Come on! Come on! You can't die on me. Don't you die on me now. I guess we won't get to go <coughs> on that fishing trip after all. Don't you say that. We're gonna get you out of here. I'm oh. One thing I did forget to say in the beginning. If you guys have any suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I'll check them out. But uh, let's continue. After all. Don't you say that. We're gonna get you out of here. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I'm lung shot. Tell my wife I'm not going to make it. <laughs> I'm lung shot. No, Sarge. If you're gonna pull through, you're gonna make it, and you're gonna walk up to her on your own two feet right out of here, and you're gonna tell her yourself. And also, she's standing right over there. It's not far. What the fuck? <clears throat> wow. Well, at least we know who shot him. I can tell you that. Without going any further, I guarantee you she's the one who shot him. Let's continue. She and I <coughs> have been at odds lately. <coughs> Ever since she shot me in the lungs. Are you sure? All right. I'll go tell her. Um, I'm sorry to tell you this, ma'am. But your husband is lung shot. And he's not going to make it. Well, you tell him that maybe after he's done dying, he can clean the garage like I've asked him to, uh, I don't know, a hundred times. Oh, okay. I'll go tell him. Sarge! Sarge, wake up! Damn. Sarge, stay with me. So your wife said that when you're done, um, dying, that you should clean the garage. Well, you tell her! <coughs> I would love to if she hadn't shot me in the lungs! Um... Yes, sir. I'll be right back. Uh, all right. He said well, that- Well, you tell him that if he's still dead by the time I get home from work, I'll kill him again. <sighs> all right. You wait right here. All right, Sarge. Now, she said that- Tell her <coughs> that- <coughs> <coughs> She's a bitch. Okay. He says- Cough, cough, gurgle. Well, you can tell him that if he doesn't get his bloody ass up, that all... This is all your fault me? if you Absolutely. just clean the garage like... What do you want? Me? You should clean the garage Me? Up. Are you oh, kidding you me? Right no, I cannot not believe you're bringing it There it is. There's a hole in my fingers in it. This oh. is just well, insane. Well, it certainly isn't your blood every time. Oh. 
once again, man, another case of wherever I thought it was gonna go, it's not going. Let's go. <laughs> Ah, jeez, I totally forgot I put a pot of coffee on. Hope it's still good. Aw, oh, man, I forgot to start the dishwasher. Guess I don't have any clean mugs. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what else I'm forgetting today. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot to dispose of this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Dude. He done forgot his wedding. <laughs> that relationship's over, buddy. You, you ain't got to worry about her no more. She gone. She gone, fam. Oh, man. Hot one today, huh? <laughs> That's an intense beard you've got going on there. Hey, this might sound a little weird, but can I touch it? I, I feel oddly compelled to touch your beard. Mm. Wow. That's so weird. Wait, what the? Oh, what is this? What are, what, what's happening? <laughs> Whoa, nice beard. Hey. This might sound weird, but... Uh. Oh, excuse me. Once again, wherever I thought it was gonna go, it did not go. It went all the way off in the deep end. I'm talking about like past the Mariana Trench deep end. Deeper than that. Oh my God. The wardrobe. My boy, my people are in grave danger and are in need of your help. Are you ready to go on a magical adventure? Heck yes I am. Then come, follow me. There isn't much time. Woo! <laughs> oh my god. Who comes up with this stuff, man? Like how? How do you, how do you come up with this? Oh! drops a bomb, buy an F-bomb. Link in the description. <laughs> I 
I think this one's called the bathroom. I think <laughs> this is what he said. I didn't pay attention. Okay. Another curveball. Let's continue. Oh, hi. You didn't see me there. You know why? Because I'm Ted Bear. If you want to survive like me, you've got to have a sharp wit, endurance, good looks, and a backpack full of ingenuity. I've got mine on both straps. Try and keep up! Here's the scenario. You're on an international flight, and the best has gone dodgy. Perhaps an albatross with poor eyesight has confused your plane engine for a mate and smacks right into it. Macking up your one snug commute to a spiraling disaster catastrophe. Luckily, you've left your tray table up. Damn. That got dark real fast. Tray table up, and now you're the only survivor, stuck in some godforsaken jungle. It's cool, it's muddy, it's wet, it's hot, it's inconvenient, and it's a bugger out of the way. Now, the first thing you gotta do is get a sense of direction. A good strategy is to find the nearest river and follow it. After a while. Only. Only if we could get that lucky in real life, man. All the walking will leave you bleed naked. You need to find a source of food. Because food means carbohydrates. Carbohydrates mean energy. Energy means movement. Movement means survival. Luckily, there are bounties of food in the wilderness. You just gotta know where to look. <gasps> bacon! We must be underneath a bacon tree! Bro, why is it? Mm. Hold on. Eat. Now, some of these aren't quite ready. You need to climb higher to find the crispy ones. Ah, now there's a nice ripe strip. Bacon tree. You know, if the wild was like this, I legit would not mind going out into the wild. If there was a bacon tree. Man. Alright, let's go. You've got yourself a quarter of a complete breakfast right there. Time to keep moving. Try and keep up. Now, we need to find some refreshments to wash it down. Ah, what do we have here? Now, it's very crucial to reach all the way in the back to get the freshest milk. Always, always, always check the expiration date on the back. It's imperative to your survival. Okay. Ah, just my luck. Chocolate chip muffins. <laughs> Raisins. <laughs> Here we are on some desert island, conceivably in the middle of the ocean. Without a map, we can't be sure. What we do know is that our body needs water. Not so fast, mate. This is salt water. We need to filter it into something more drinkable. And now the fruit fish turns salt water into delicious, drinkable punch. First, you need to find the fruit appendage. <laughs> now you're probably thinking, Ted, there's no such thing as a fruit fish. Well, you're right. 
It's actually a crustacean. Oh my god. Dang man. Yeah. The, the trick to uh, survive it on a, on a mountain. <sighs> it's a. Uh, it's hard to catch your breath. Oh no. Had this elevation. Oh no. I'm man. gonna. Please don't. I'm just gonna. Oh no. Please don't, man. Come on, man. Oh, this is gonna end badly. <laughs> oh. Nestle Quicksand. Wow. Man. R.I.P. Ted Bear, man. He just wanted to teach people survival and eat off the baking tree, man. Now he gone. Are you okay? Yeah, why? You got a pole in your stomach! Oh god! Oh god! What the hell? You've got one too! Oh, oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Another thing that came out of left field, I was not expecting nothing like that. Wow. Good job, Explosive.net. Y'all are really good at this, man. Put him down. Poor little guy. He's been sick for so long, and I feel so badly for him. My little buddy is in so much pain. I'm afraid the only option we have left is, you know... Mm hmm. Miss Livingston, this is an adult human being inside of an animal costume. Can't you see that he's in pain? He's my pet. And it's my decision. And my decision is I want to end his suffering. I see. And uh, what is he suffering from exactly? Well, look at him. I tell you this every time you come in here, Mrs. Livingston. This is your son, Kurt. A 24-year-old adult human male, and I can't euthanize a 24-year-old adult human male. Actually, it's Fire Dash. You should be ashamed of yourself. 24 years old dressing like that. The fuck's wrong with you? Let's continue. Right. I'm a pyrofox from the forest planet. I live no, in you you don't understand. In the kingdom Fire of Fire Dash, Dash is sick. He's been. He's been sick. He's been sick a long time! <sighs> Miss Livingston. Call me Rachel. Miss Livingston, this has been and continues to be a complete waste of my time and resources. On top of the fact that this is completely unethical, it disregards Kurt's basic human rights! It's Fire Dash? My name is Fire Dash? You just don't want to live it's with a more. son who, as an it's adult, wants to live his life as a magical Earth human planet? dog! What would you? Uh, I'm a pyro. Not to mention the responsibilities you have as a mother. His mother. Come on, please? No. Isn't there somewhere I could leave him or something? Come on, Kurt. Are you gonna let her treat you like this? Or are you gonna stand up straight like a man and say, I'm here, I'm a magical dog boy, and I don't wanna die, Mom? I don't appreciate you referring to me as a cisgender human male? I'm a trigender pyrofox. 
Thanks. Get out. Please. Thank you. Please. Get out. Please. Get out. Come on. Get out. Get out of my office. Oh, fine. <clears throat> oh my God. Quiet, oh. puppet. Soon you'll finally be free. That was, wow. That's not at all what I thought was going to happen, but that's what happened. Damn. The dentist. Okay. Dr. Murphy is ready to see you, Joel. Right this way. All right, if you'll just have a seat right here, the dentist will be with you momentarily. Hello there, Joe! Haven't seen you for a while! Oh, you weren't afraid to come back now, were you? Nah, JK, JK. We like to have fun here. All right, Joe! Let's see what's going on with those choppers in there! Open up! Nah, I won't bite, and I hope you don't either. Ha, <laughs> JK, JK, LOL. Say, ah! Oh, wow! You're a little spitty, aren't you? Are you nervous? Yeah, this'll help. All right, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere, Ugh. okay? Okay. Oh. Like, just that sound, man. Oh, my God. I don't like it. A real diploma. I'm dead, bro. Employee of the month. Oh, shit. My bad. Come on, man. I'm trying to eat. Oh, the... That just messed up my appetite. <laughs> oh, that's nasty, bro. Okay. Happy Mother's Day, Bobby. Oh. Mother's Day cake's on a thing, kiddo. But, Bob... <sighs> She's too smart for me. What the fuck? Yo, once again, man, wherever I thought that was going, it wasn't going. Let's continue. Man's best friend. Okay. Who's a good boy? You are. Who's a star? Yeah, you are. You're such a good boy. Boy, oh yeah. I'm gonna go grab a drink. You want anything from the kitchen? Yeah, could you grab me a soda? What the fuck, man? Don't act like I don't know what's going on. Keep your paws off my Kool-Aid. Understood? 
Keep it up and I'll take you to the pound. And by pound, I mean with my fists! What I'm trying to say is, I'll fucking fight you, dog. Gosh, make room, you two. I'm glad that you two are getting along so well. After all, he's my beastie big man. Yes, you are. He's so fucking cute. Oh, yeah. That's it! Do you want to take this outside? What the? This, this is went completely left again, bruh. Imagine getting jealous because somebody's petting their dog and just, you know, showing some love to the dog. What the hell? All right. I said, let's take this outside. <coughs> All right, let's do it. Let's take this outside. I got a feeling he's about to get his ass kicked. Ugh. Oh, yep. you guys that's gonna be the end of this video if you like this video drop a like subscribe turn on the notifications stay tuned so you don't miss whenever I upload a video if you have any suggestions drop them down in the comment section below and if you want to check out the video on your own time as always the link to the original video will be in the description box but with that being said I'm fixing to get off here y'all stay up stay blessed be positive and kick misery in the throat I'm out peace <laughs>